Hi, welcome to Azure Everyday with Pragmatic Works. My name is Steve Hughes, and I am happy to be joining you today to talk about Azure Cosmos DB once again. So today I would like to talk about the data consistency models that are actually supported within the context of Cosmos DB. Data consistency, really, let's start with that conversation, what that means. It, that's the ability of the data to be read once it's been uh, written. So when we look at consistency, what we want to do is we do a globally distributed model we go out and we're, you know, we have to take an event, take in consideration things like cap theorem, which allow, which basically says you can't have everything be consistent and be available and have no latency and all those pieces all put together. So as you start to look into the details around that and you start to understand what is going on with Cosmos DB, what you need to understand is that we need to have a variety of models. Typically speaking, in most of these scenarios, we have one of two models. We either have a strong model, which basically says you can't read anything until it's all the way committed to every node within that's readable. So that means that's typically what we see in database structures and using SQL Server. And what we want is we want this transaction model that commits everything so we have consistent reads and we have an opportunity to take advantage of this. The trade-off there is the fact that it takes a long time. So we have a lot of latency. We got to wait for things to commit. We got to make sure everything happens the way we expect it to in, in, uh, in the database. Well, Cosmos has the ability to do strong, just like we're talking about. So the reads are guaranteed to the most recent version of the item. There's no inconsistencies with the data. It's all as you expect. However, it's very limiting in its approach and how you can actually leverage the power of Cosmos within the environment. The extreme opposite side of that is called eventual. So basically we're saying, hey, eventually we're going to get our database data consistent. It's going to, the changes are all going to show up eventually. They may not show up in order. It doesn't really matter. We're going to do stuff. It's just going to happen, but we're going to read it when it gets there and it's going to be okay. Very rarely is that an acceptable scenario. Log files could be an acceptable scenario because realistically we're going to look at log files after the fact. We're not looking at them when they're being written. So if they're a little bit un inconsistent, it's okay. Eventually it'll straighten itself out. But that's not really a great solution either. So as we start to look at what Cosmos DB brings to the table and consistency, what we have is three other options. The most, I'm going to start in the middle. So the most common use case that we see being, you know, the consistency model used within the platform, well over 50% of the current customers using the platform are using what's called session. So se session guarantees that you're able to see what you wrote. So if I'm working in the application, I'm going to have a consistent read and write experience. I'm going to see everything I've done. So I'm consistent with what I am doing. So it's consistent with my session, making the user experience, which is really the key here, making the user experience a good experience while at the same time not waiting for everything to fully commit around the globe and all the other pieces that happen because what we've got to do is make sure that eventually it'll all catch up. So... You're going to be able to read your rights. It's going to come in the right order. Um, you know, all the data will be there. So you got to, you got this, you're working with that, dealing with that. The next level between session and eventual is called consistent prefix. Basically, some other, you know, it really starts to go on. You'll get some of that stuff updated. The data will come in the right order. There's no gaps, but there's no guarantee that you're going to get all the pieces that you're expecting. So it really gives you the opportunity to, um, see more late, uh, see less latency in your operation but to get more read possibilities. Bounded stale staleness is really where you draw a boundary around what you want to be strong and what you don't. And this is a level deeper towards a strong side from session. So in this case, the reads will lag behind the writes, but you, you know the interval that you're lagging and you know there's going to be some inconsistencies over a smaller period of time, but you don't have to wait for everything to commit. And But you also... You know, it's still stronger than having it just for my session. It goes beyond that scope. So as you look at what we have inside of Cosmos DB, we have all these consistency levels available to meet the needs of our various applications. Like I said, most people use session. The thing to also keep in mind is that all these are guaranteed on SLAs. Microsoft is guaranteeing your consistency model will work within the confines that you've actually given it the application to work in. These consistency models work against, or consistency levels work against all the data models that are supported as well. So now you have this opportunity. So keep in mind, you're always weighing out things like lower latency with better read scalability and higher availability as you move towards eventual. But if you want, if you want, if you can live with the latency and it's really more important you have consistent reads, you're going to lean more towards strong. 
but you have options. That is the point. At this point, you have options around what you do and which one you take on, which one you don't. If you have more questions about consistency levels or something else about Cosmos DB or Azure, click the link below. We'd be happy to reach out and talk to you about it. Thank you. Have a great day.